morning. Wait. Good. Happy, Happy half, half birthday. birthday. Someone is six months old. Wow. Today. Yeah, and we have a super fun day planned for Jamesy and for us to celebrate. Let's go. A glorious day. So today River North Fests is having us at their beer and cocktail fest on the river and we're gonna try out some cocktails, try out some beer. Well, Peter really is. They do have mocktails I'm gonna have. And they've got like multiple. Yeah, yeah. right. So, so the yeah, so there'll be a link in our bio of all the different festivals with our little link if you want to go to one. This one's on the riverfront. Yeah. And it's like, we haven't like fully embraced the newly redone riverfront. Yeah. Walkway, and I'm beyond jazz. Yes. Nothing like getting uh, sesame seeds in your babies. <laughs> we stop by Corner Bakery real quick and make our way to the river. I have no idea what to look like. We just got set up in an awesome reserve table. Now these events do, because of social distancing right now, sell out very quick. So make sure if you ever if you're coming to the city or you are in the city and you want to check it out, don't hesitate. But we just got seated with all the rules and um, the the tasting list. And every 10 minutes, the server is going to come out with one of these, and then they've got a full bar. Wait, look at this baby. Look at this cute baby coming to celebrate his six month half birthday right on the oh, river. Oh, oh my man. God. Treat. Yeah, but there's a full service bar over there for full size drinks. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some mocktails over there. Yeah, yeah. And then um, here's a, the list for today. Oh, they have Kona. Yes. So a variety of 12 different drinks. Every 10 minutes they're bringing them out. And it's thirty dollars a person. And we're here, what, two hours or three hours? Two hours. Which makes sense, that, like they time here for every 10 minutes, so that we'll be here the full two hours. Yeah, it's awesome. I see a bunch of burgers that are being brought out and for I somebody. Believe, I believe that like you can have tables up to six people. So like we're specifically at a table for two. Right, yeah, I see two, four, and six. So like this place is always open, but like I think they have this, this venue rented out for the special event. Yeah. I can't wait. We got a crazy baby who's <laughs> ripping up the menu. So this is the first drink. It's a Craft House Paloma. It's like a mm. grapefruit margarita. It could be the closest thing to it. Peter's not typically a tequila person. But it depends on the like like the spirits they mix in there with mm. it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I do like a good grapefruit. I don't like grapefruit by itself, like the uh -huh. fruit, and I don't like like I like them in drinks. Yeah. All right. So we're on the drink. What is this? Four. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to the like the most because most of these drinks I haven't had, which is great to like diversify my palate. But here we have Kona Big Wave, which is like a pretty standard beer that I'll get when we go to like Publix or Jewel or something. Um, tropically ale, pretty good. Um, before this, we had a daiquiri. So like the, I don't usually get cocktails other than old fashioned. So like the, having the margaritas and the daiquiris and some of the other mules that the stuff they have on here is going to be really exciting because. I don't usually step out of my comfort zone like that, but that's what's great about a fest like this, is you're forced to. We got a half birthday costume change. Yes. Aren't you sweet? Aren't you sweet? He's loving, there's like dogs here and kids running yeah. around. Yeah, it's great that it's family friendly. Yeah, we were nervous. Mm -hmm. um, we like reached out to the people and we're like, so we have a little baby, can we bring him with and they're like, oh, 100%, it's, yeah. it's all great. Yeah. It's so nice out, it's finally like, 70 degrees and even I was I was a little bit worried about the shade but even in the shade it's super super nice. So I am hopping in line here to get a mocktail. They do offer food 
and then full size drinks over here which really is kind of nice if you find like you have one of the tastings and you really like it and you want it full size you could get it here um and then all of the food looks really good and is really reasonably priced so this is the craft house south side which i'm excited because you know we're from the south side this is a gin drink and i don't they have a few different craft house like margaritas and cocktails and stuff and the last one was a smoky margarita and I love smoky cocktails. It's got mint in it. Oh, it's heavy on the mint, but in a good way. Yeah, like, like I would like it. A lot of times it. like cocktails with mint are like just a little bit of an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. This hits you on the front. I like it. We just got our trips and salsa and I accidentally ordered Two orders. <laughs> <laughs> Not complaining. So, so far we just got the Moscow Mule. So far this is the winner. Yeah. So this is another craft house. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so far this is number nine. This is the best drink so far. I'm also like, I like give preference to Moscow Mules. They're like the only other drink I'll probably order besides an old fashioned at a restaurant or a lounge or bar, but very good. All right, so our 11th one of 12, It's and I didn't even realize this was gonna be here. Was, hopefully this is my favorite. This is called the Craft House Gold Rush. It is a honey bourbon, honey lemon bourbon. And then we've got one more, which is an IPA, pretty standard. But I wanted to show before we left that the next festival that, that they're hosting is the Riverwalk Mimosa Festival, May 15th. So get on there if you're coming to visit or if you're local. So this festival just happens to be hosted by the Island Party Hut. And all their other festivals are in different locations. So it's really cool. So if you want to like check out their website, see where they are, maybe that dictates what festival you come out for. But really well done. Yeah. Really good time. We got so, we were just talking about how lucky we got with the weather. Cause like literally it was like 35, like two days ago. And now it's 75 and sunny. Thank you so much River North Fest for having us. Again, that link will be in the description if you're interested. With the social distancing they do, fill up fast. So be sure to get your tickets. So good, right? It was amazing. Yeah. The I servers, think, yeah. spacing, the music, they were playing some good Jimmy Buffett in there. Yeah, there was a good variety. Um, overall, just like a really good experience. And I want to come back for the next one. But our day's not even over. The six month celebration of James's half birthday. Just begun. Are you six months old? You're almost one years old. All right, we're about to walk to the train to go back to see Eve, but I wanted to show you right there. That's what I want to do so bad. That's oh, yeah, started that started to today. Is kayak rentals. I'm gonna. I, I think within the next like three weeks, I'll end up doing that. Wendy, but we are walking to the next chapter of our half birthday celebration. Yes. Do you remember, I think it was Thanksgiving, two years ago, we stayed at the Hotel Versi and we did everything like locals. Because well, that, that's their like, their anthem is stay local. Stay like a local when you're in Chicago. Right. So this time we're actually locals and we're staying there again. Um, and it is walkable from our apartment, so that's that's pretty cool. So we're about to go get checked in and then get settled. Maybe have some chips and guac. Um, there's actually a fireworks show tonight in at Navy Pier. Mm -hmm. It officially like semi opened up today, and every Saturday in May at least, or I don't know if it's all summer, there are fireworks shows off Navy Pier. So we think we're gonna get settled and then head on over there and check it out. Fireworks. We haven't seen fireworks in so oh. long. Oh. Hotel Versi. We just checked in. I've just saw a beautiful lobby, pool, 
artsy fartsiness. Um, look at this cool wall. Wrigley Field. It's like they knew we lived in Wrigleyville. We're like near Wrigleyville. <laughs> Al Capone, right? That's, that's the guy with the cigar. Yeah. Now, here at Hotel Versi, you stay like a local. It is more of like run-of-the-mill apartment almost-esque. Right, because it's almost like you want to go out and about and like enjoy everything. Right. But it's even like the way that the building is made, yeah. like is configured. We got our accent wall here. We got our sleeping baby here. It's all asleep in the stroller. Classic AC, classic city brick wall. Fancy new TV. These are upgraded since the last time I stayed here, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. We had like a little TV above a, a, a fridge last time. We had a view of Clark last time. We did. Yeah, yeah the view last I'll time was killer. In the corner, I'll put that video. So we got the desk here. We got some Oreos, our card. I got some ice. Um, for the beer and cheer wine, and then we're gonna bust up on a spicy guac in a second. And I'm gonna get some the streaming this going on so we can watch some stuff and relax before we head out into the city. Hold up, wait a minute. Went to go just check out the closet right before I showed you the bathroom, and we do have a fridge. I got nervous that we got um we got like they like didn't have a, a fridge in all the rooms, and we got lucky. But we got some little coffee. I don't think it's an espresso, but something that looks like it fridge so I can put our beers and our cheer wine there and then a very sunlit because this is like check this view out this is like you can't get more can't get more Chicago City than this look at that view so last time we were facing that way we we're facing Clark and it was great view this is just like straight up city view but hey this is a great location um, right by the lake if you're like a Chicago marathon runner like this is a great one James is now awake. So much to do in this area. So close to the L. So close to so many bus stops. I think we're gonna take the L again tonight. Yeah. Maybe we'll take the bus, but I think it's gonna be the L. Ah. James is like us where he takes a little bit to wake up. Yeah. Getting Red Bulls. Um, we're at this Target. It's, on it's so nice. It's so nice. It's literally a block down. Is that a thing? It's a thing. It's a quote from a movie. Come on, below you. So we are walking through the thick of Lincoln Park. The thick of Lincoln Park, and each house we see is more gorgeous than the next. That's right. Like giant stonework, mini stonework, right. brick. Like literally up different kinds of architectures, moldings on the inside. Even better when people have their windows open. <laughs> they can creep on the inside. <laughs> so we are getting back on the train to Grand, where we got on before. Um, to head to Navy Pier now. Oh my goodness, we made it! It's so good. We realized we haven't been on Navy Pier since we moved to Florida. Yeah. And this is the hey. first instance. The Odyssey. We went on the Odyssey on our prom night. Hey -oh. Um, and this is the first time we've seen like Chicago in full force of like a large amount of people in one location. Right. And it's the first day it's open, so it is pretty busy. Um, but we're trying to figure out where we're going to go for the fireworks because it's like, we don't know if it's social engineering of why people are sitting in certain spots. I think it's further out because like look at all these boats that are coming out. Right. So we're just going to stroll. They start in like two minutes, so. Oh yeah. We'll know soon. Oh gosh, we got to get James out of his seat. We're thrilled to welcome you back. At this time, we would like to recognize the hard work and sacrifices of the healthcare, frontline, and essential work community over the past year as they helped us navigate the COVID-19 crisis and continue to support us in safely re-emerging from the pandemic. To the health professionals, frontline service members, and all the essential workers, a heartfelt thank you on behalf
I think it's looking at some of the reflections. on Navy Pier now. Completely forgot that they added that. Yeah. That was awesome. It was, it was like, Sarah got a little emotional because it was like weird to see. It was like, not weird. It was really nice to see like normalcy right. in Chicago. And, like, and so, everyone like, around us was like so happy. Because unlike Orlando that's been like mostly open since last summer, right. Chicago has not been. So right. like, it was a big deal it for It was just like happen. the energy. Like I don't think if like the vaccination distribution happened in the past four weeks like they have been and the CDC changing some of the guidelines. I don't think Mayor Lightfoot would have okayed this. No. So it was just, it was really nice. There were so many just happy families just to be Hopefully here. Hopefully it's not too windy because we're at the end of the pier. We have not been at the end of the pier forever. Yeah. Here we go. We got a, we got a big old boat out there. We got a big old boat out there coming in from the fireworks show. We're going to say this big anchor that's from the USS Chicago. This is a big old anchor right here. USS Chicago Anchor. Done by the US Naval Historical Center. Wow. James E. Boy is now in the carrier and he's a little gremlin right now. <laughs> I do always love this hallway. Oh! Victory. I'm gonna go out and get food. We found a McDonald's and a Papa John's that are open. We're gonna get situated in the room first. All right, I'm going to get food, but you can take stairs down since we're on the third floor. And look at these awesome old photos. Water Tower and Palm Olive Building, 1930. Wrigley and Tribune, 1959. This is similar, just a different angle from the photo I got for Sarah for Christmas. And over here, Grant Park, 1928. Wow, look at those cool cars. All right, so we went with McDonald's. I did a mobile order, but now we're just kind of we bought a deck of cards at this at the where were we? Walgreens earlier? Oh, no, Target. So we're gonna play some card games. Hopefully, find something on a free form or something on the TV to put on and munch in our McDonald's and just relax, celebrate James's half birthday. He is zonked. He was such a good boy today. Just like going through all the the subways and the tasting and fireworks and going home to see Eve and packing and he was just he's just a really good kid I get back to the room and look at this I told you he was he was he was running on E but he had a really good day he was giggling all the way to the end all right so we've just been watching some TV some movies hanging out um, James is in that like being asleep I think I disturbed him getting ready for this clip Forgot to do the message while we were at home, but such a great, great day. It's good to be home. goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>